Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, and today we have a match against Teemo with Ignite and Deathfires. OP.GG, Runes and Masteries will be on the screen right about now. So, uh, our job here is just to survive. I brought in some MR runes, 12 MR. We've got our TP, and I'm going for probably... I'm not going for a team up build this game. I might go for Mercs. Depends, because they do have double ADC, so... I do want to go Tabby's and I do hope that Timo is AD, but I don't think he is. I think it's AP. So I might be going Mercs this game just so for the reduced blind duration. And I'm just going to try to pick up CS and that's about it. Not get poked until he needs to CS these minions. And that's when I can just spin through. Just like that guys. So you don't take any autos because your minions are low and he's trying to auto. Oh, but then again he... Okay. He went for Q first. That's why I thought oh maybe I could walk up. Because his autos won't hurt as much right now. So I guess we can tank it a little bit. Let's see. He has Ignite, so I can't all in him. No way. Not a chance. Nice, we got that CS. That's really all we're aiming for. It's just to survive laning phase. And get out of it. Either like maybe un 10 CS under him or even if we're at even, that's that's the best. If we can be even and just not die, then we outscale and then we win. So in order, just not dying is a win because we're going for TP right now. We're going for the scaling. So that's all I'm aiming for. If I get a gank, then Timo probably dies, but we can't rely on that. So you know what? We're just going to play it out as if we're not going to get a gank. And if we do, then awesome. It means that our jungler wants to win. And if not, then oh well. But I only want a gank after 6 anyway. I think, yeah. Any earlier, it could work, but it depends on the lane situation. Say, if he was to gank anytime soon, say in 10 seconds, I would not want that gank because look at how big this wave is. So it depends on when the jungler comes. Usually at 3 minute mark, your jungler wants to gank top. And this is a really bad time. So that's when you ping them back. Whoops, I missed that one. Outside of that, you definitely can get a gank. Like, say, right about now. Right about now, you can get a gank. And it'll work really well, because you've just been on Teemo. But it is risky, because you do have to use your potion right away and Q heal. And he's going to ignite you right away. So you might want to not go all in yet, until your jungler goes in first. Just because of ignite. But yeah, hopefully we don't pop our potion right away. So I'm just backing off and making sure that my potion or my Doran Shield passive is going to just keep healing me because of Toxic Dart. That's why Doran Shield passive is just really good against any damage over time effects. Man, he's being annoying. That's every Teemo to be honest. Teemos are just annoying in general. Oh no, I didn't get that one. Damn, I thought that one was low enough. Okay, so yeah, anytime I get a, um, oh, yeah, I, I really need the TP for this lane though, that's the thing is, if I TP somewhere else, it's really risky, I don't want to, you know, try to do something fancy and just throw it away completely. There is the other strategy to beating Teemo, which is just to run Ignite and just all in him through the first three minions, but that's really risky. Because it can backfire, uh, it can work as well. You're sort of like gambling it all away. And if it works, then you use Snowball. If it doesn't work, then you sort of just lose really miserably. So I don't want to teach you guys a method that like can work sometimes. I want a method that will always work for you guys. And you guys can always try the Ignite method. It can and it can't work. So uh, what it is, is basically when the first wave arrives, those first three minions I spanned through and got the first three CS, Instead, instead of spinning to safety, you spin onto Teemo. And that's the only difference. Then you just walk him down the lane with Ignite. Oh, and obviously pop a potion right away as well. Oh, okay, nice. Gragas is coming. I'll pop a potion now. Uh, okay. That was a really awkward... Kind of looking... I, after he flashed, I think our characters just bugged out and we walked upwards. For some reason. Or at least Gragas did. Okay. So. I need to push this one out fast. That way it'll crash into tower and reset back to me. 
And then I can just go home without having to TP. So I can save my TP for later when I get a big item power spike. So here we go. Now I go back, get my Vamp Scepter. This is going to help me sustain in lane for a lot longer. And let's see what items he buys. We have the luxury of looking at his items if he comes to lane. So let's see. He's going AP, so we could actually buy this. Like, why not? But do I want to wait a little bit for refillable? Definitely yes. So we'll just wait a tiny bit, get refillable, and we're going to be really tanky in lane, and we're going to sustain for a very long time. And that should be enough time for me to get... Oh, what the heck? Uh, that should be enough time for me to get static. Yep, alright. That should be fine. This is pushing to me the whole time, so I'm not in a rush to go to lane. And I can't be nearby for if they try to do anything to Gragas. So I ward for him. But I'm also going to take Krugs. So this is slow pushing into me. I'm not losing anything. In fact, Teemo's losing a lot. Uh, actually, I'm not going to take this. Holy crap, I took so much damage. The lack of attack speed dagger, though. I'm hoping Teemo doesn't know why I'm so low. And that by the time he gets here, I'm going to be full health again. That's the dream anyway. I did not expect Krogs to do so much damage to me. It usually doesn't do that much once I have Vamp Scepter. But usually I have Attack Speed Dagger with that. So it does make a big difference, but I don't know. It's a bit strange. I don't know if they changed anything, because usually it's not that far. It's not this bad. Oh, oh that was awkward. Alright. Timo's been missing for a very long time. Vlad's dead. Yeah. Wow, that, making that mid Lucian work. I would have more confidence in Vlad, but somehow... Hmm, AD mid on my team just doesn't work. Like, they always lose lane. But on the enemy team, they just win somehow. I have yet to win with a Yasuo mid, though. Yet. Like, not once. So, it's pretty tragic. Okay, there we go. But yeah, um, Teemo, no flash, so whenever someone comes, um, Teemo, no flash. Whenever someone comes top, it's pretty much a free kill, because he has no mobility other than W. The earlier I get a gank, the earlier I can start roaming and leaving lane, because I don't want this laning phase. It's... Oh, what? That one died so early, there was two, two tower hits before it dies. At least it had enough health for another tower shot. So those minions overkilled by a lot, I guess. Cast the minions OP. Uh, I guess I guess Timo knew, so there was no point in pretending that Gragas wasn't there or not. I think there was a shroom here. I want to pop it. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Not with Timo nearby. But I want to pop shrooms when I'm definitely in no danger of dying. That way I could clear out the annoying ones that are really just right in your face. But I guess it's kind of... Wait, support save K? Ah, uh, not like this. Let's see, we're out farming Teemo by a lot though. So, as long as we beat him in farm, in lane, that's, that's a win. Outside of laning phase is... Uh, when we can scale a lot better. We do so much more outside of laning phase against Teemo since we can hard shove him a lot faster and we can out split push him. We don't necessarily have to fight him and then we can rotate a lot faster. We're a lot more mobile so we use that to our advantage but we really need support to come back. Support only died once though so I don't think it's a rage quit. I think it's a DC but that's a really huge disadvantage for our team. Hmm. Man, Vlad is feeding like crazy. 0 oh, and 3. That's not good for us. Especially like all 4 kills on the enemy team. Okay. 89 to 66. We're doing quite well so far. But if our whole team's losing, then uh, it's not going to work. I don't think anything would work if we're up against like a 
lane dominant Ignite Teemo. And we're not really getting any successful ganks off. We are one level up. I need to make something work. Alright, so we did that big trade. I have to stay. I think I can stay. I am tanky enough. Alright, that tower hit as well. I do have TP advantage. But I might not even need it because he's running away. Oh my days. Yeah, they don't need me for that one. I can take this chance to clear out a lot of shrooms. And then uh, I'll, I'll look to TP when I need to. But right now I don't think I need to. It's not going to make a difference whether I TP or not. As in like go back and TP. I am clearing all the shrooms which is really nice. Okay. I just walk him in. Because these minions are going to die really soon. And then I want to just shove this out. Because he has Ignite and I have TP, I can shove this out. And then I can also TP back. So I'm going to make him miss something. Not too much just because it is a cannon wave and that cannon's going to tank forever. But yeah, I'd say this is a pretty guaranteed way to lane against Teemo. Like, you'll definitely do decent. So Merc Treads actually reduces blind duration. Might as well TP back to lane. And then we just shove this out. Make Teemo miss a lot of CS. Or at least he has to stay under tower, then he's diveable. So he's going to miss out on something, regardless. So that's the TP advantage right there. Okay, so yeah, he's going to miss out on this wave and the next one. Ah, uh, okay, Cho'Gath is here. Hey, how fed is he? 0 and 1. At least our support is back on the bright side. So there's still a chance. It's slim, but there's a chance, guys. I'll take it. So let's take Krux, get even further ahead. I want my static shiv ASAP. And then after that, I could work towards a Bork into a Essence Reaver. Mm. Nope, not gonna work. Not gonna work. He should just back off. Uh, that's a waste of Krogs. I was gonna do them and then go back to lane, but I can only go back to lane now. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, pretty much anyone can solo Rift Herald because Rift Herald's damage, a lot of it is AoE. It's... Okay, I just had to concentrate there and not take too much damage while getting those 4 CS. But yeah, it's AoE, it's dodgeable. You can just move to behind Rift Herald and then she'll swing. Oh, great. Okay, this is what happens when I don't pay attention. Grant me revenge. What the heck? I actually pressed my heal right after I flashed. Then the hell with you. Um... Uh, there wasn't much to do there. I still believe, guys. I still believe. I believe in miracles. I believe we can win, guys. I'm going to go mid. I'll push out mid lane. Every lane's occupied right now. That Vlad better not go... Uh. Okay, good. That Lucian's stopping him from going mid. I could collapse on him. Jeez, he's so low. I wish I had Bork right now. Nice, I got the slow. Jesus, way too fit. Dang, he's super fed. 
I shouldn't be taking that much damage from him in such a short time. So yeah, everyone on the team's super fit. It's gonna be tough. If that works. I'm just very cautious because I still don't have my ult yet. So I wanna make sure I can get out alive. Nice, that's a free catch. I hope. Oh, maybe not. Damn, that ult is so, so busted. I don't think any other ADC can survive like that. Like, Zaya actually has insane survivability. Okay, I guess we push this one out. And Rift Herald's taken because our whole team lost. Uh, and then it kind of just trickled into top lane because of how badly we lost. Uh, I just got 4-man dove. Mm, not much I could do there, really. Just unlucky, this game. I see the team down there, and no one's responding to this, so I'm going to seize this opportunity to take a tower. Not that I could do much at bot lane right now, even if I went there. So I was thinking about going back thinking that someone would already come, but yeah, after further investigation, looks like this is our tower. Uh, that's one step forward, guys. Could I do anything by going there, or should I keep pushing? I feel like this is our only chance to get gold, and if we could trade tower for tower, then super worth. I also have TP, just in case I regret anything. So yeah, I did not regret that. Got to keep pushing, get some money, and even counter jungle, so... Okay, I have to get out. They might be collapsing on me. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't know about that one. So now we get Shiv, and then after that, Bork is so nice. I might change to Tabby's soon, just because they just have so much AD, and Teemo really isn't the problem right now. Like, I didn't feed my laner, but my team did feed everyone else. And somehow Teemo got a kill. Oh yeah, I think it was when they 4-man dove, so it was just randomly given to someone out of the 4. Let's see. Timo's down by 50 CS compared to me, but he has one kill. One kill's around 15 CS worth of gold. So we are ahead in gold, and there's a good chance that I can beat Timo one-on-one. Uh, not completely reliable, just because it's situational. I have to bait out, like, maybe a blind or something and then go in. Just because he has ignite advantage otherwise. But as the game goes on further, it becomes easier. Now we can... Nice, I got the slow off. I was saving it for when he ran. I don't think we can Baron. I don't know. Yeah, Gragas is too low. And uh, we're all pretty underfed, so this might be the safest option. Just to take a tower. We have to slowly claw our way back. We can't be extremely greedy after completely losing the game. So, I believe in miracles, guys. Alright. Oh, okay. He threw the egg down instead of blinding me. That tower would have been so nice, but I can't stay any longer. I mean, I could have, but I thought that shroom was going to explode. And then he was going to just destroy my health pool. So I didn't want to get too low for no reason. Okay, we have to wait a little bit for our Bork. We're just going to wait that one out. And then after that, we got Essence Reaver and we can start beating Teemo, like left and right. So once you get into the three items, Shiv, Bork and Essence Reaver, you have ridiculous mobility. And a lot of chase potential as well. 
So Teemo just becomes redundant, or at least not completely redundant. He could still beat you if you just like walk into a bunch of shrooms and then try to all in him. Like you'll still lose. Oh, kind of like what I'm doing right now. But if in a just a 1v1 fight where you don't step on any shrooms and you spin on him first, then you probably win. I do need some fury though, just a little bit. Oh, are they fighting? They are, eh? Ah. I'm gonna TP, but... Damn. Oh my god, I couldn't get anybody. If only I had Flash, I would have got Zaya. Ah, feels bad. That would have been such a nice TP. I just couldn't find anything to TP to because there was so much happening, like so many particles flying around. Couldn't see the minions. Until it was like way too late, probably. I think I need to start pushing bot. We need to start getting towers, so I'm gonna go bot. Getting towers. If, if they baron, just try to skin. That Vlad really wants to stay and take all this farm. Kind of annoying. Hmm, I see Blitzcrank over here. I'm going to push this out and make someone respond. Okay, Timo responded. Put another ward here, just renew it. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot of shrooms. Okay, let's get Dragon. Yeah, we take it so fast with both ADs on him. I count as an AD carry as well. Just the melee version. Hmm. It's gonna be rough without Tabbies to kill that Lucian. So I might just go for defending. Wait, are they fighting? Oh jeez, they are. Nothing. Very nice. That Lucian split push? Guess what Lucian's name is? Yasuo Master. Just Yasuo Syndrome. Really good. So, I think if Yasuo Master was actually with them, this fight would have been completely different. Uh, I want to tank this for a bit so that my team doesn't get completely destroyed in health. Alright, now we can go. Man, what if I buff the minions? Aw, oh, rip. Not with Blitzcrank around. Okay, so what I'm going to do, since I, I couldn't get this tower, I wanted to. But I don't know if anyone was behind him. Or how close they were, and Blitzcrank can really lock you down for a long time. So it's better to just back off. Buy a BF Sword, which is going to be for my Essence Reaver, and then I'm going to try to get Bot Tower. And you know, fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed. But yeah, we did a lot of team fighting, a lot of grouping, so my CS is pretty horrendous right now, I need to catch up by splitting again. But you know what, laning phase we did pretty good. I'd say that that was a really good result against the Ignite Teemo. It's because we played it really well. The 4-man dive, well, nothing much we could do about it. It's just our team lost really badly, and it just trickles to us. But outside of that, pretty good. Okay, they're responding to me, so this is perfect. I want them to come to me, and then that way I can be cautious and just back off. And if I can force pressure here, then my team will have an easier time. So I'm going to... Yeah, so Zaya wants to go. 
I'm going to just push this out again. There we go. Keep someone here. Okay, let's see what's happening. Nothing's happening. Alright. I hate how they ping this tower. It's not like I don't know. If there's a Teemo here, you know, it's a bit difficult. Oh, that's his blind? Ah, uh, but he, he's already near the tower. I need to back away from Lucian. But I did get one of them. Shut down. I can TP back. If they're still fighting, that is. Mm, too risky. Too risky. I don't want to bait anything. If I get Teemo blinded and then Lucian just two shots me, uh, it's not a good, not gonna be a good time. There's a high chance that I will die actually, just because I don't have tabbies, and also they're fed. If I was fed and they weren't, then you know, might be a different story. Teemo's over there. I do not have ult. Let me see. I could flank them, but I need Gragas to be here. If Gragas came, we could have killed. It would be a 3v2. And we would have actually killed them. So that was a missed opportunity. I have my TP. I'm going to go and push out top. Okay, they're over there. That's a pretty good ward by yours truly. Oh, by the way, guys, I've been playing a lot of old school runescape lately so if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video please do i talk about it a lot in detail and i'm quite passionate about it as well since it, it's a uh, it's a game i grew up with mm, i'm not gonna tp into this one since we're on full retreat oh what the heck that's so high -key. What? Oh, Cho'Gath. I was like, I was on around eight or 1,000 health-ish, and then I just died. Wow, he didn't use Feast. That's 50% of my health was from... What? Wait, 50%? What does that 50% mean? Ah, uh, rip. Okay, I did not expect to die from that range. But that was like 800. And he's on rank 2. Rank 2 is about 500, right? Or like, it starts with 300 true damage, then it goes to 500. So how can it be 800? Unless it scales with health? I guess he has a lot of health items. I'm actually not sure how the scaling works. But that's pretty ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Baron's in 20. I don't know. I've been aiming Zaya every time. I feel like she does a lot more damage than Lucian just because when she... What the heck is that? That particle. Just because when she pulls her feathers in, she just destroys everyone's health. Alright, at least we stopped Baron single-handedly. Okay, nothing's happening. We push out top lane, make the best of a bad situation. And then I'll just keep pushing, and if we can contest, then I'll rotate over. If not, then I'll just keep pushing. So if they go for me, then they don't do Baron, which is perfect. We just let Gragas steal. Ah, uh, that's not even gonna happen. 
Okay, he used his blind. You should clone yourself. Why is that? So you can go fuck yourself. Do it! I was pretty boned there. I don't think if I flashed over, it would have made a difference. Hmm. Now that I think about it, maybe. If I was to flash here and then E, then I need a blast cone, or else I'd have to go this way, and then they would cut me off still. Uh, I would be prolonging it though. Mm. Yeah, they have a lot of ADCs and not much armor on the primary targets that I want to kill. So I'm just going for IH first. And after that, I'll see if I want Last Whisper or if I want to go for Death Stance, just because they have so much damage output. At this rate, I might also just switch over to Tabby's, or maybe even Zerkus. I feel like Tabby's isn't going to make a difference at this point, since it's a team fight situation. I'm going to be ulting right away when they hit me, so I may as well just go for Zerkus. It's it's kind of iffy, just because Teemo's blind. That's the only thing I'm really buying Merc Treads for at the moment. And maybe Zaya Root. But Zaya Root can be avoided, if I'm careful. So yeah, I'm just keeping these lanes sharp so it doesn't crash into my base. But yeah, five people sieging, we have to defend. Nice. I might be able to cut one off. Oh my god, I might die to a shroom. Alright, that's fine. I may as well did do something out of that ult, so that's why I went for the E-Flash. I thought maybe I could, you know... Well, at least I got some teamfight presence during that that E-Flash. Could have scared them, made them do something. But yeah, desperate times calls for desperate measures. I think this game was so winnable if we just didn't outright lose mid lane so badly. Uh, it would have been a much easier game because that Lucian is just really strong. And the only reason we're in this game at the moment is because Lucian um, kind of just got that lead and decided to split push with it. So that's the only reason we got back into the game. But otherwise, if he's in the fights, it's going to be really rough. I have TP. I'm going to buy my Eye Edge and TP down there if they have vision. I'm going to opt for Death Stance. I think that's the best alternative at the moment. That's one kill. That's pretty big. Oh, that Yasuo though. I'm going for him. By Yasuo, I meant Lucian. And those shrooms. I don't think pressing W is going to help him though. It actually does damage to Vlad by pressing W. Okay, let's push this one out. I do have TP, so I feel like... I should push out a side lane as well. But if I could do damage to this tower, or at least make someone come here. Someone's definitely coming here. Okay. Alright, that's Teemo Flash and Ignite. Alright, that's super worth. Our ult comes back so quickly. Okay. Baron in one minute. Time to push out mid lane again. And then we... Oh, what the heck. We really need Vlad here. Like, this is such a bad time to recall. Like, he should have been here ages ago. Uh-oh.
Nice. That's a free catch. Well, we wasted a Ash off for it, but it was almost free. Oh my god, I can't reach her. That Team Mushroom slow, though. I had my Bork slow, so if that Team Mushroom wasn't there, I would have sped up with the Bork. Mm, and that would have been a dead Zaya. I would have crit as well, so I would have had my spin up, I reckon. And then I'll just EQ, EQ out. Ah, that Team Mushroom, though. Really tactical. I think we tried our best, right? We made... To be honest, if you saw the situation at the very start, the game was practically over. We had a DC support, we had basically every lane lost, and then ours was, we were winning because by CS and because it was Ignite Teemo, we pretty much won our lane to be fair. That was basically our goal, and we achieved that goal at the very start in laning phase, so if you guys could do that against Teemo, yeah, above CS against Teemo and Ignite Teemo, then you're doing great and you have no troubles, the only reason I died was because of 4-man dive. Otherwise, we had a really good chance of winning. I think that game, there's nothing to be sad about. Um, we did pretty decent, so... And also, Ash did really well. Like, she stayed really cool, even though the support was disconnected and everything was going haywire, she did really well, so... I thought I'd give a moment to talk about Old School RuneScape because I've been playing it, like, religiously for the past couple of days. About to reach 60 attack, have my Dragon Sim that I found on the floor. I finished Monkey Madness, I also did Lost City. So all of this was in the past two days when I just became member. And a lot of people have came and talked to me and I've made a clan chat. So for those of you who play the game, just type in my username and that will be in the previous video. I'll probably link that video in the description below. So go check that one out and that will have my character's username and you can just type that in and then you'll be able to join the chat room and that will be where all the viewers, including myself, will be actively there talking. So uh, be sure to join. You guys could even join by creating a new account, so that's also possible. Make sure you add me on friends list and have the private set, uh, the private chat set to on, and then I, I'll be able to see you online and I'll be able to reply to you. Otherwise, if you're offline to me, I can't reply. So anyways, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.